In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to complete the Halloween event in Greenville. So guys, here we are on of Greenville. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best way to complete the Halloween event. I'm going to be showing you guys start from finish, how I complete it, and also some tips and tricks, guys, for you. Um, and so you guys can complete this event really, really quickly as well. Um, anyway, guys, yeah, so pretty much follow me right now in order to go ahead and start this event. One second, I need to join a new server because I've got no clue what's going on with this server, guys. It's like super laggy. Let me meet you guys back in a second. But if you are ever in need of Robux and have a computer, go ahead and check out RBX Idle. This program allows you to earn Robux, gift cards, and more with simply a computer. This program has over 100,000 downloads and has already given out millions of Robux to a lot of players. All you have to do is go to the website and click on the download button. Or you can follow how I'm doing it on screen. You can earn with any computer and there is tons of ways to get prizes such as robux gift cards steam discord nitro you can level up for rewards or win prizes in gold rush giveaways once you have the program ready and downloaded you guys can click on start earning and this will make your computer do the work completely for you to get started head to rbxidle.com or click on the link down below in the description and in the comments so guys here we are we're back in the game guys so yeah follow me in order to go and start this off so yeah guys it says here we need to talk to the ghost hunter at the motel first i'm going to be showing you guys how to get there first guys because that's the first start um step of the quest now guys i do recommend if possible go ahead and get yourself into a vip server if you guys have one you're gonna want to do this in a vip server and i'll show you guys why in a second if not no big deal it might just take you guys a little bit longer because you can't really cut out this step that i'm going to be showing you guys how to cut out in a second which is one of the tips of the video guys but i've got many more tips so i'm going to oh guys just take a left turn we're going to come over here to the motel and you guys can see here that there's a car that's parked just over here let's go in and speak to the ghost hunter here we are guys so we're going to speak to him and we are going to accept his quest so keep on clicking on the ticks guys don't click on the x's if he has to you're going to um, decline this quest which you're going to have to come through um all this um i guess dialogue again however um if we go ahead and beat this we get a special prize which is pretty cool so click on the tick over here so now what we need to do is go ahead and grab the ghost the ghost busting pack so let's go in and do this right now guys here we are click on e to get pack let's just hold that down and there we are guys we now have this ghost busting pack which if we just aim our mouse guys it literally just like fires like a beam so you don't even need to hold as you guys can see i'm not even holding it down if you guys just aim your mouse guys it just oh, fires a beam over there which is quite cool so we talk to him again guys he's gonna say that we're not done so what do we need to do next well if we click on the halloween button you guys can see here we've got a checklist that's graveyard airport junkyard gv lake um motel and cat's park so how do we gonna do this guys what are you gonna want to do here you need to wait until it turns night time so i'm gonna go in and do this right now i'm gonna do um this is why i recommend you guys to be in a vip server i'm gonna do a time command guys so i can set the time just to tonight um so if i go in and set the time one it's gonna do 1 a.m guys and as you can see here it's now spawning ghosts so what i just need to do right now i need to go in and fire this laser guys at the ghosts and then that'll go in and capture them guys so as you can see we've caught all the ghosts um well, we nearly have caught all the ghosts and if we do this guys as you can see we're 32 percent of the way done so yeah guys once you catch them they're just gonna respawn so it's not really too bad um and yeah essentially guys this is all you pretty much do you recently capture the ghosts over here guys quite easy um and we got some over here guys but yeah definitely this is why you guys must be in a vip server because if not guys you're going to be doing a lot of waiting on this event because of course guys you're going to have to not only do this just in the night time for them to spawn but also guys once you've completed one place it might already nearly be overnight and also guys you need to get to the next area too which makes it a bit slower as well guys so you might only be able to do like one or maybe two places per night guys unfortunately so that's a crucial reason why you guys probably do want a vip server now i might be doing a giveaway guys i might be giving away some robux to you all if you guys do want some robux you guys might be able to use them robux to buy a vip server if you guys want to complete this quickly so all you guys need to do to enter into this giveaway like the video subscribe to the channel comment down below your roblox username it's pretty simple how many have we done right now guys okay we've done 100 over there now guys we need to move on into another location guys so you might as well just do the motel one first unless it's of course like daytime um and i'm gonna meet you guys back once we know where we're going right next so guys follow me for your next location so i'm just gonna set this back today every single time we go and i guess find someone new because of course guys it's quite easier it's a lot easier to follow along when it's daytime instead of pitch black in the night so that's what i'm gonna do over here guys so pretty much yeah follow me guys we are now going to go to the airport i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know where the airport is so if you guys don't want to follow with this step don't worry but i'm going to be showing you guys how to access all 
of the places guys later on um in this video today guys so make sure you don't go anywhere as of course if you guys do you will miss out on how to like access these other places in the game um which um you might not have otherwise therefore guys i just recommend a follow along with this video because if you guys do it's going to make your life a bit easier um than having to i guess guess where these other places are however guys i'm pretty sure i've missed the, the turn um right one second guys i think what i might just do i might just reset yeah i'm just gonna reset guys we're gonna go back to the dealership and i'll meet you guys there um i don't know where i went wrong over there guys i'm kind of went in the middle of nowhere the problem is it's quite hard um greenville to know where you're going because it's such a such a massive map however let's get in our car so guys what do you have for completeness well of course guys you get a a new car guys which is quite cool but also you go ahead and get 75k cash so that's also quite useful guys so you definitely don't want to complete this event you might as well it's pretty much free cash guys for just playing the game anyway guys follow me to the airport yeah i think what we'll do guys every single time we'll just reset back to spawn before we go to the next place but yeah guys follow me to the airport all we're gonna do guys is pretty much just go down this road over here and we'll get there really really shortly so here we are keep on going down um, and then guys you're gonna go ahead and get to the airport which should just be right down here as you guys can see there's the airport so what i'm gonna do guys we're gonna see where these ghosts actually spawn so let's set the time to one where do they spawn guys okay so it looks like the ghosts spawn actually in the airport itself so not on the outside of the airport in the inside so you want to go through here guys and yeah these ones are a lot more spread out but i'm gonna meet you guys back once i've went ahead and completed it this time um right i don't know what's right here one second guys don't reset your character because you I'm gonna have to collect the pack back because I'm definitely not gonna be reset my character anymore because I need to get that back from the from the guy's car. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna complete the ones in the airport. I'll meet you guys back once I've done it. So, guys, we finally went ahead and got the ghosts over here in the airport. I tell you what, guys, it took a long, long time just because of the fact that, of course, it's just a massive area to cover. However, guys, follow me for your next location. Now, guys, what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to GV Lake over here, guys. I'm gonna meet you back. Well, I'm not gonna meet you back. I'm gonna just show you guys where that is and we'll find them over there and that's because i think some more locations are really really close by there so we're gonna i guess just go to the go to the lake and then we'll get the ones close by now i'm hoping guys that airport is the only one that's like as bad as the other ones um but yeah that's the worst one guys because i'm hoping the other ones aren't as bad and i don't know about the lake one it's a big area again i don't know if that'll be as bad guys of the airport it's so so bad because it's just a massive area and there's not really too many ghosts in one place so you kind of need to walk around from bit to bit quite often however guys follow me for the lake so all we're going to do here is not crash into a um flimsy metal post at like 100 miles an hour and just get bounced back pretty much we're going to come straight forwards um so there's the dealership of course then we're going to take a left turn um, and that's because we're going to be able to access the lake pretty close by here. That's again, guys, if I don't get smashed around by these signs and these signposts, guys. I don't know how these are so strong. Um, however, guys, yeah, just follow me. We're going to come down here. Um, and then we're going to come to the lake pretty soon, guys. So I think what I'm going to do, um, well, we'll get to the lake first. So if we just continue down here, guys, we'll approach the lake pretty shortly. Well, actually, guys that's a lake but it's not the one that we want it's just straightforward guys over here as you can see so if you now just turn the night and um, turn the time to one let's see guys where these spawn um right i'm trying not to drive into that oh, never mind guys yeah okay so follow me guys so i want to show you where these spawn so pretty much guys what you're going to want to do turn the time back um right there we go guys so follow me here we are guys so essentially all you're gonna want to do here is just go straight forwards um and then um i keep on going forwards guys right okay i'll tell you what these posts are getting on my nerves guys how are they so strong i tell you what they should really make it so that you can just like smash past these posts and the other ones um in like the other car games guys however right okay guys apparently i'm just attracted to every single blockage in the road however let's go ahead and get to this next place and just try not to let's fall off over here and um, not to crash over here guys okay here it is this is where you guys need to go in order to get them just in this place right now guys let's turn the time back to one um and then they should spawn in as you guys can see here guys they've spawned in now luckily this time they're not like 100 meters apart so you can literally get them pretty, pretty quickly i'm gonna meet you guys back once i've went ahead and got them in this area so guys i've went ahead and completed this one let me turn the time back to 12 
Um, and yeah, follow me guys for your next one. So I'm gonna hop back in that car. Wait, where does my car go? Uh, right, apparently it's nowhere to be seen. Let's spawn it back in again. So yeah, guys, follow me for the next one. I think what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go to the junkyard, guys. Um, so yeah, in order to go, go ahead and get there. Just follow where I go. Pretty much, I'm fairly, fairly certain if I, if my, if my memory is correct, it should be pretty nearby. Um, around here, guys. Is this the junkyard? Let's have a little look. I'm gonna. Uh, one second. Didn't mean to do that. Let's set the time back to one. And do they spawn around here, guys? Yeah. Never mind. Okay. So they actually spawn pretty nearby. Um, they spawn just over here, guys. So yeah, not in that bit directly, but they spawn over here. So I'm gonna quickly get them over here. Which ones are these actually? These are. Yeah, these are the junkyard ones. Yeah, I'm gonna meet you guys back once I've got the junkyard ones. So guys, we went ahead and completed the junkyard ones. Let's now go ahead and find the graveyard ones, guys. Now I hope my um my Greenville memory will cast back to where the junk uh, to where the graveyard is correctly. Now I'm fairly fairly certain I know where it is, but the question is where exactly. I'm not sure, but don't worry, guys. We're gonna be able to find it right now. Um, I know it's just around these areas somewhere. I just need to remember back, guys. To where exactly it is and i'll tell you what guys it's not gonna help if of course i crash into everything possible i don't know why the acceleration on these things are so terrible too however guys right okay i'm not gonna be able to get anywhere am i um right come on car you're supposed to be mclaren not like a car that has like zero acceleration at all um okay so pretty much i'm fairly fairly certain the graveyard is gonna be on the right over here guys somewhere um, let's see. I'm fairly sure it's somewhere around here. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to keep on crashing it and then post on. Hi, guys. Um, so I'm going to take a left turn around here, guys. If I do manage to locate this graveyard, I'm going to be pretty happy with myself, guys, because I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, the Greenville map is pretty hard to remember, um, especially if you're not playing it all the time. Right. Okay, never mind. It might not be around here, but don't worry because we will definitely find it somewhere. Um, right, okay, guys. This is honestly horrible. I'm just smashing into everything right now. Um, okay, so it doesn't help with the weather as well. So, not, things aren't on my side today, guys. Let's just say that. Um, right, okay, guys. To be fair, I'm going to quickly find out where this is from my location. And I'll meet you guys back once I've went ahead and found it. So guys, okay, from here, pretty much, I have a feeling I know where it is right now, so follow me. All we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to get back onto this main road. And I'm fairly certain we need to go down even further, guys, to get to this graveyard. So yeah, we keep on going down. Um, and I think, soon enough, we're going to come to, like, this red place. Um, where we have, like, this red junction area, guys, that we might, never mind, might have went too far down yeah um actually never mind let's just continue right okay guys i'm wrong let's just go back up so pretty much at least we're now on this main road we're gonna be able to get there now that we're here so essentially follow me um all we need to do now is just go back up here and then we're gonna continue around this road so what we need to do guys is go ahead and get to a place where it's kind of like a junction guys and um, let me quickly see what this junction exactly exactly looks like okay yeah so we need to get to a place where we have a junction with a petrol station yeah okay it might be here is it here guys i think it is right okay so now that you guys are here follow me all we're gonna want to do here is just go down this end so go down here guys right around the bottom and I knew it was in this housing area somewhere, guys, but I just didn't know where exactly. Now, yeah, I, I honestly hate driving in this game. Um, right, okay, guys, so pretty much it should just be... Yeah, okay, never mind, guys, I found it. So, one second. So, pretty much, I'm fairly certain that was the... Um, that, that was the junkyard. If you guys just go pretty much straight down from the junkyard... We're going to make it to the graveyard. Here it is, guys. I'll tell you what. It took us a little while, but we're finally there. So I'm just going to set the time tonight. And I'll meet you guys back once I've finished the ones in the graveyard. So, guys, we've completed this. Let's now go ahead and go to Cat's Park. So let me quickly set the time back to 12. And let's go. So, pretty much, in order to go and get here, guys, follow me. I'm going to just not even bother spawning and um, trying to drive that car out of the graveyard, guys. Because I know I'm going to get nowhere. However, we're going to go back into our garage. We're going to get this car spawned in. Um, and essentially, guys, let me quickly drive it. 
and follow me. So all we're going to do here, guys, is just turn around a little bit. We want to get back on on the main road. Um, that's if that's possible for me. I'm surprised I haven't smashed any of these poles yet, <laughs> which is pretty good for my standards. However, um, yeah, okay. So we need to get out onto the main road, which is just over here. Now, guys, what we need to do, we need to get to Cat Park. So I'm actually surprised I didn't um, fully stop over there. Never mind, I'm not on the main road yet, guys. We need to go over here. All right, here we go. And then, guys, we need to keep on the lookout for a sign saying Cat Park. That's if I can actually drive properly. I'll tell you what, guys, this car is starts super slowly, guys. Um, yeah, it's horrible. However, let's go to Cat Park. So just come down here, guys. And then soon enough, I'm fairly, fairly certain. We'll find a sign saying Cat's Park, guys. Um, yeah, just over here, guys. Here it is, Cat's Park. So, pretty much, if we now just go around here, I'm going to guess they're probably going to spawn here, guys. Let's set the time at 1. Where are they going to spawn? Let's have a little look. Okay, so they don't spawn over here, um, which is good to know. Where else do they spawn, though, guys? Actually, I think I found them. And follow me, guys, for them. So, pretty much, come down here. And then you'll see that there's a lot of ghosts right on there. So they're on kind of like them um, pictures over here, guys, on the fields. Just over here, guys. So that's kind of where they spawn. So I'm just going to go in and, I guess, get all these ghosts. I'll meet you guys back once I went ahead. And I've got 100% on this one. So, guys, I've just completed it. I've went ahead and got 75k cash and also a special ghost busting car. And that's pretty much it, guys. So as soon as you get 100%. There we go, guys. We went ahead and solved it. Um, well, we, we've, we've done the quest, guys, which is pretty cool. And then this is the car, which is pretty nice. So, as you guys can see here, this is what it looks like. And you get, of course, free 75k. Now, if you sell this, guys, you get 25k cash. So, definitely not most. Um, however, it's, I guess, still better than the Easter one. However, guys, that's pretty much how you can complete this, um, this I guess, event inside of the game. That's pretty much going to be it for this video here inside of Green Bowl. Like and subscribe for more.